When you first get into cycling, you'll often be told it's a case of when, not if you have your first off. Hopefully you'll stay upright most of the time, but if you do fall off and crash into the tarmac, you're likely to experience the dreaded road rash, one of the most common injuries seen in cycling. And unfortunately, the most uncomfortable part can come after the crash itself. Sleepless nights spent stuck to the bed sheets, pain and a risk of injury. Well, road rash isn't pretty, but the quicker you attend to it, the better the healing process will be. We all have our own ways of treating road rash, and of course, every wound can vary. But here's some top tips using items you can easily find in your local pharmacy. First up, have you kept up to date with your tetanus vaccinations? Although it's rare, it's caused from bacteria that's found in the dirt which can contaminate your wound. Symptoms include muscle stiffness, spasms of the jaw and a difficulty swallowing, and it all requires medical treatment. If you're not sure whether you've had a vaccination or not, check with your GP. And if you've hit the deck, you'll need to check for any deep lacerations that haven't stopped bleeding after 10 minutes, as they may require stitches and of course, a trip to the hospital. Now, road rash can look a lot worse than it is on first appearances, so don't panic, get it treated, and it will of course heal in time. When you get home, wash the area using warm water and a saline or iodine solution. If you see any dirt in the rash, use a soft brush to clear out any remaining gravel. It's really unpleasant and it does hurt, but it's so important that you get your wound nice and clean. Once you've dried off the wound as much as possible, you'll need to apply a non-stick dressing such as one of these. Not only will it help to keep infection at bay, but it will stop it sticking to the injury when it comes to replacing it for a fresh one, which you'll need to do every day. Now, of course, these pads come in different sizes depending on the surface area of the road rash, but it couldn't be easier to secure them to the skin using surgical tape, which is easy to apply and doesn't hurt too much when you rip it off. Getting air to a wounded area is a good thing as it allows your injury to dry. Once your injury has formed a layering, take off the dressing and allow it to breathe. Hydrocolloid dressings such as these are becoming increasingly popular for cyclists treating road rash. Now in theory they save a lot of time and effort because once in place on the injury, they're supposed to stay there for the entirety of the healing process. They contain a gel forming compound that's waterproof and it doesn't actually look very pretty when it's healing, but it's supposed to reduce scarring and it's proven to really work. But what's great about these dressings is that they can be worn for several days without needing to apply another one. They won't stick to your injured area either, only the skin around it. And once the wound is healed, you can easily peel it off, or in most cases, it should fall off. Providing you wash your injury properly, then infection shouldn't be a problem. However, if you are worried, applying some antiseptic cream before your dressing will make sure that no infection gets in. If you follow our simple steps, then road rash shouldn't be a problem. However, if it starts to turn red, pusses or swells, then it's probably got infected and you will need to seek medical help. And remember these three key points, clean it, dry it and dress it.